guys i don't want to alarm you i've just been handed a very urgent bulletin i'm sitting here in my underwear just want you guys to know that i am streaming in my underwear today <laughs> for the right price i might even show you guys i mean this is twitch you know this is, <laughs> this is what twitch is all about now <laughs> hot tubs and showing you my undergarments <laughs> Gentlemen, ladies, boys, and girls, cats wearing birthday hats. Welcome to the finale of the Atlas Allegiance Zane. On the previous episode, we got ourselves the multi-tap, a Ruby's Wrath right at the end of the stream, a Atlas replay. We unlocked a super soldier by using our awesome vault card stuff. We got a level 72 CN dead that has 46% weapon, Atlas weapon fire rate on it and also has increased grenade damage. Uh, we're still using a hot drop victory rush at level 32. Uh, in terms of our grenades, we've got a few things, but nothing really, you know, super amazing in that regard uh we also had started the cartels and we got ourselves a firewall we had gotten a couple of yellow cakes we got a grease trap i did not get an opq so that is on the list of things that we got to get today we obviously got to get an opq system here is the skill tree that i'm rocking at the moment i'm capstoned out in the pumpkin spice tree so that my clone will get a copy of my weapon that's going to be crucial when we get the opq system because he's going to people up i i changed up the build a little bit and i am not capstone in the blue tree we're gonna try this out and see how it feels because i wanted to get down to a racer in the purple tree so i had to sacrifice points here i just want to see how this feels for a little bit in all honesty we're probably going to dump some points from the purple tree and go back to capping the blue tree but i wanted to play around and see that's the beauty of being a level 72 uh, max level now is you can play around with your builds a little bit more when it's borderlands 2 and you only have three skill trees you know having that many points means that everybody's going to have the exact same build but on borderlands 3 you have four skill trees like look i didn't even touch the green tree you can you can do all kinds of wild stuff and you can have a lot of build variety combine that with all the anointment changes and there is a lot more stuff you can do as a matter of fact we got this anointment the other day the digiclone active regenerate mag size per second it used to be 12 percent, which was garbage it's now 30 percent. this used to be an anointment where i was like just remove that from the game yesterday i was using this anointment and shredding enemies just with the gun damage and it was so nice to not have to worry about ammo it was very very nice all right in terms of the guardian ranks we've gone ahead and unlocked everything because we are max level now and with that today we have an agenda number one i want to go get a revolter shield number two I want to get the plumage. Number three, I want to get the OPQ system. Number four, Malawan takedown. Number five, Guardian takedown. Number six, if we can, Hemavorus. Oh, uh, also, I noticed last night that, uh, well, thanks, Shady. I noticed last night that Epic sent me this Atlas Company Man. Legal or no? <laughs> so I'm going to take this. Epic sent me this Atlas Company Man. I'm going to go ahead and take it just because, and son of a bitch. Damn you, Triple J. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm dying. All right, we're fine. All right, plumage, first run. Give me that sweet, sweet 150 over 90 drop. Oh, shit, we did get one on the first run. Action skill. Okay, next two mags. You know what? I'll take it. Wee. Ouch, ouch. Hold on, I'm going to try this. Plumage! <laughs> plumage, bitch! You guys recognize my hot tub? This is it. This is my hot tub right here. All right, all right, I get it. You're shooting me. All right, just don't go flying away, okay? all right first run first run and eh, terrible uh terrible anoint for me but we're gonna put that on until we get a better one can you suggest a faster way to get drops to access the villa um yeah go into uh the slaughter shaft you'll get whatever it is you have to collect really fast in there come on baby come on baby come on baby <laughs> oh we got it we got action skill start it's not good on the rolls though uh delay fortify and recharge but nice we're done we're done here oh, oh, oh yeah oh damn <laughs> you guys hear the fire rate on that shit <laughs> oh we got a golden there we go it's roaster you got shredded, dude. And he dropped us the ice burger. Ooh, Sentinel Cryo. <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> All right, I need to I need to regen some ammo here. Wasn't the right thing. What did I put on? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, it's a cut purse victory. I gotta stab him. Well, that's not happening now, is it? Bro, I can't stab you if you're out there. All right, we're gonna run out of ammo here in a second. I need a cut purse launch pad. I don't have one. I really should have summoned my clone before I did that. Just in case I did fall off, but I wasn't thinking clearly, but we locked out, I guess. 
You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you dropped two monarchs? <laughs> this is an Atlas Allegiance, you dick. Cut person coming. Oh god, how good would that be? A, get a cut person launch pad out of this chest. Cryostone Deathless. Holy shit. Holy shit. Guys, if you are doing any sort of Deathless or URAD build, cryo damage, cryo efficiency. Oh damn. And we got a new executor. Weapon fire rate. Atlas weapon reload speed. Not bad. Not bad, dude. Not too freaking shabby, dude. No echo cast. No. No, I didn't. I didn't turn it off. It just wasn't working. See? Oh. So we're gonna run that again. <laughs> Sit on a throne of lies. <laughs> so if you're a badass, I'll try not to kill you guys before. Oh shit. Figure it out, chat. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? Because you're about to die. It's Thanner or some, some. I don't know who you were. You're dead, though. You died fast. I would apologize, but nope. Flack or Zane better with no DLC? Flack. Flack is better with no DLC because Zane loses the CN Dead class mod at that point. The Executor is good on Zane. It's very good. It's no CN Dead. And you will feel the difference. <laughs> you absolutely will feel the difference. Hey, we got a golden beacon again. Dude, this is a great way to get these cartel things, man. Maybe one of these guys will drop me an OPQ. It's the tenderizer. I don't think, he, no, he can't drop the OPQ. Have you already tried uh, the pearl with this build? No, I didn't want to have to go through all of DLC three to get a pearl essence or a pearl of ineffable knowledge. Pearl essence, <laughs> I wish. All right, here we go. Thank God. We got two, oh, no, we got a replay and a monarch. Oh, times eight monarch though. Gentlemen, ladies, boys and girls, cats wearing birthday hats. It is day number five, which is actually the finale for the Atlas Allegiance Zane. And I need a new name. What do you got? Zane shrugged. So I've, I've held off on doing any kind of Atlas shrugged, but instead of Zane shrugged, I'm just gonna say Atlas shrugged because this is the end. We're done. All right. Atlas shrugged it is. I'll reroll my replay. It's 250 per reroll. Action skill, active weapon damage. I'm thinking I'm just going to take that. I, I'm, I'm good to settle right there. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. These nerds. They have no idea what they're in for. Die, compost. You trashy son of a bitch. Ah! What? What did you just trip on, idiot? <laughs> oh, man. My stupid clone. <laughs> my clone is a big dumb. OPQ, baby. Let's go. Right here. A no pew pew. A URAD no pew pew. And a tech spurt. And a flood. And some grenades on the floor. Not exactly what I was after. Bummer, I gotta run it again. <laughs> I love running the cartels, dude. Shortcut. <laughs> That's not short at all. You were badass. Well, I gotta kill that. Come out from your corner, pussy. Uh oh. Car's gonna blow up. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what is it? It's Nacho Man Randy Cabbage. Oh yeah. You're dead. Oh yeah. Nacho man, I'm sorry I had to kill you like that. What we got now? It's Josie. My first Josie bite of the uh the cartel's return. She just got Oh, oh, oh. No. No. I thought I saw the outline of an OPQ. <laughs> you evil bitch. Be interested to see what this build can do versus Hemavorus, man. Don't these uh oh shit, that was some damage right there. Don't these guys have more health than Hemavorus and Vermivorous? Am I remembering that right? But it's a survivability thing with Hemavorus and Vermivorous. Whereas these guys aren't gonna kill you, generally speaking. Alright, what we got? Son of a bitch. <laughs> All sloop machine. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, look, it's the dude. It's the badass gourmet chef. It comes busting through walls like the fucking Kool-Aid man. He's like, oh, yeah, you want some fucking gourmet cookies, bitch? I'm like, yes, I do. Thank you. I get better when you're smaller so my clone actually shoots the right spot on you. My clone's kind of dumb, dude. Come on, baby. OPQ. Let's go. Another no pew pew. <laughs> oh, times four. Wait. Oh, next two mags bonus incendiary. I don't know. I don't know what to look for on the no pew pew. Actually, I need to like figure out like like what good stats are on the no pew pew. Thank you for the rings. Who's the viewer badass? It's Cater. What's up, Cater? I'm not even gonna summon my clone for you, buddy. Wipe your eyes out. Sorry. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit, bro. What the? F oh my god, dude. What? The hell just happened to that poor son of a bitch? This should be a nice quick farm. 
Uh, cold warrior, I don't want that. But I do want this. What we got? Ooh, higher damage, faster reload. Everything else is the same. It's not, not what we want yet. Keep going. Um, okay, that could work. Uh, we lose two mag, but we gain fire rate. Almost a full extra shot per second. And that reload time is crispy as fuck dude nice all right so put that on in place of that hells yes dude all right cool we done here i'll see you later tyrone schmollums you big tyrone you big tyrone and you're dead oh another yellow cake times two consecutive hits yellow cake oh shit. yes please thank you yeah i can't use it on this playthrough but i can sure as shit stash it why why would you heal again you asshole king of the dicks Come on, man. Come on, dude. All right, well, we got a fish slap at least. <laughs> Look on the bright side. At least we got a fish slap. He's being extremely stingy with these OPQs, dude. All right, so let's go down here and go do the Malolan takedown. You're a badass. Look at all these red dots. I would love to get all these red dots grouped up. Hit him with this. Now watch this shit. Watch this shit. You guys ready for this? It's Boneyard. I love that. If you have a lot of red dots, the Atlas replay is so much fun. Boneyard, you're dead, dude. <laughs> now there's not so many red dots. <laughs> but for individual targets, multi-tap is the shit, dude. <laughs> Atlas Zane is dope as shit, dudes. <laughs> Atlas Zane is great. I didn't have my clone out. Holy shit. Guys, do you know about the multi-tap, my lord and savior? Holy shit, man. This is dumb. This is kind of dumb. Okay, pop that. <laughs> I didn't even know that I... I didn't even mean to kill that guy. What the fuck? That's so awesome. All right, let's put a tracker on you. Took some damage. Took some damage. Woo. <laughs> Can I hit him? Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Sweet. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. This thing fucking shreds, man. Doesn't bust the legs very well, though. Woo! <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, oh, Atlas the Legions, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Ooh, an antifreeze. Nice. That wasn't bad, dudes. Tinderizer. Dead. Oh, there's a hoarder tank. Oh, shit. Damn, he dropped some stuff. There's another hoarder tank. Two of them. Got another lob. Orb damage. Phase flare. Oh, got a rhino. All right, pop this pack. Oh, shit. Got a Nova burner. Great. What else we got? Is there another backpack? Yeah. Nothing good from that one. All right. Many hours later. That it? Yes! <laughs> yes! Finally! Yes! <laughs> Sheesh. I took forever, dude. What else did we get? Hey, we also got a no pew pew. There she is, baby. In all of her golden glory. Looking so hot. Want to touch the hiney. Beautiful. That shit, dude. Rip ammo, yeah. <laughs> now this one is uh, ammo regen while uh, while clone is active. That, that anointment's been working out pretty good for me, but I would much rather have some damage on this one, I think. Imagine if I had like an on grenade throw uh, piss grenade. I think I was killing him faster with the uh, the multi tap, but go put some terror on it. Could do. And we got an ooh, a double link fish slap. Wow, <laughs> fifty percent bonus damage for each enemy damaged. <laughs> um let's do this let's um save and quit all right now we're going to go to this we're on bloody harvest we're gonna go back into the game what bloody harvest anointment should i try for on my opq so i have 3100 iridium i can just go and heal for 25 percent of max health nope fuck it i'm taking the consecutive hits we're done we're good i'm taking the consecutive hits hemovorous time Okay, we got the corrosive one on, so action skill in. We're getting corrosive damage. So as per usual, the main issue is gonna be ammo. So we gotta watch that. This is gonna be this is gonna be a little tricky because we gotta like actually have to stab things to get my ammo. I need something to stab. <laughs> Just let me stab you, you fool. Not doing as much damage as I was hoping it would. It's hard to on an atlas, it's hard to like get under here and do like this. Cause you get bounced around so much. Sometimes I just go from like full health and shield to being dead. Just how it goes. <laughs> All right, Vermi's dead. All right, now we need to switch back to our fish slap. Get our corrosive damage on action skill in. Need to calm your tits, dude. We get some enemies spawning? Yes. All right, sweet. This is stressful. Oh, we're good. Shut up. <laughs> Hello. He's like, by the way, I'm over here now, bitch. Come on, clone. 
We did it, boys. <laughs> we beat him with only Atlas weapons. <laughs> so we got a red card. We got a Vladoff company man with the crit damage being 30. Great, thanks. Ionic Disruptor. And I don't think we had anything else good laying over here. Devil's Foursome, you rad. That was, that was intense. <laughs> I still say that they need to put some treasure chest in this room too, man. Like have two here two here, and then maybe two more in here. Have these be like the Proving Ground chests where you're guaranteed artifacts or class mods from these. That would be dope as shit. Dudes, this was a fun playthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a short playthrough, only a five day playthrough, but uh, it's Atlas. There wasn't a whole lot of Atlas weapons to gather. There's basically three good Atlas weapons in the game. We got the OPQ, we got the multi-tap, we got the plumage, we got the Atlas replay, Atlas company man the, the revolter was the thing that helped us get extra damage out of everything um in terms of our grenades we used an action skill in shock damage or an action skill in corrosive or as you can see what we have equipped now an action skill into incendiary this isn't this isn't perfect gear none of this is perfect gear none of these are like perfect rolls most of the time i use the digiclone regenerate ammo anointment on this thing in level 72 mayhem 11 we beat it so I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, tap the bell icon for more. I will be back next week. We're taking a full week off, going to Duck, North Carolina with the family. Going to have a good time there. If you guys are in the area and, you know, you see me, come up and say hi. I would love to meet you guys. I'm fully vaccinated. So I will be back uh, the following week and we will start a playthrough with my editor, Alec, the editor, where we're going to be playing an open lobby with you guys. And we're just going to do a playthrough with viewers. Every single day, we're going to bring in new viewers every day. And we're just going to have fun, man. It's just going to be a fun playthrough. No, like, no limitations on what we can and can't use. We're going to go through all the content in the game, hopefully, and uh, just have a good time. So if you're interested in that, no matter what platform you're on, other than PlayStation, that's PlayStation's fault, make sure you come back and... Uh, you know join in on the fun and since this game is uh set up in such a way that it doesn't matter what level you are if you join somebody else's game it scales to your level on your end then until we have mayhem levels anybody can join us no matter what level they are so it's gonna be a good time hope you guys had a great time with this playthrough i sure as shit did i did not expect to have a good time i'll be 100 percent honest I did not expect to have a good time on Atlas Allegiance Zane, but I did. I had the best time. This was one of my favorite playthroughs, even though it was short. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next playthrough. Have an awesome day. Take care.